This shiny golden gold you're looking at is almost impossible to get. In fact, even owning one of these is an insane accomplishment and gives you bragging rights. And it's part of a very limited time event. I'll be showing you how you can get one and why it's so important. By the way, let me know in the comments if you already own one or if you're still hunting for this. Scarlet and Violet released on November 18th, 2022, and one of the most interesting discoveries Pokemon players made was finding a Pokemon called Gimme Ghoul that was scattered all throughout Paldea. Now, the Gimme Ghouls that players discovered in Scarlet and Violet had two different forms. The first one was the roaming form, which is just a single Gimme Ghoul walking around or sitting on a sign, and when you interact with it, it would just run away and drop some coins, making this form impossible to get. Get. By the way, I'll show you how to get this form in your Scarlet and Violet game later in the video. I'm about to make a name for myself here. There was also the chest form, which players found in watchtowers and random ruins that were scattered all throughout Paldea. Luckily, with the chest form, you could completely interact with it and catch the Pokemon during battle or knock it out to get coins and put it in your Pokédex. And as I mentioned, by interacting with these Gimme Ghouls, you'll be able to get Gimme Ghoul coins. The roaming forms only dropped a little, while the chest would drop a whole lot more. There's even an NPC in Medali that holds on to any extra Gimme Ghoul coins that you get. Now, once you have 999 Gimme Ghoul coins and level up your Gimme Ghoul while it's in your party, it'll then become a Golden Go. But the question is, how exactly do you get yourself a shiny Golden Go? Now, for some reason, Game Freak wanted to make getting the shiny Pokemon impossible to get. If you try to take a Gimme Ghoul or a Golden Go and breed it with a Ditto while you're in one of those picnics, nothing actually happens at all. In fact, this Pokemon is completely unbreedable. So there was no way for people to attempt egg hatching for shinies or trying the Masuda method. And all the wild gimme gold chests that you would find scattered throughout the wild and the towers and in the ruins were completely shiny locked. And the reason they were shiny locked is because they were all fixed encounters, which actually sucked because a lot of people wanted the shiny of this Pokemon. Even though if you take a look at the differences between the non shiny and the shiny, you really can't tell the difference. It actually is a very garbage shiny. But the point is people wanted to own this Pokemon in a shiny variant for their collection, which caused this specific Pokemon to be the number one most frustrating shiny to get, besides the shiny locked legendaries that everyone was complaining on the internet about. This all changed seven months later after launch on June 21st, 2023 to July 2nd, 2023, where Pokemon did their first Gimme Ghoul Terra Raid Battle event. However, this is where things started to get a little bit difficult because the chances of encountering one during this event was one out of 4,103.05. And the way Pokemon advertised it was that you have a small chance to encounter a shiny shiny chest form Gimme Ghoul only from the 5 star Terra raid battles. What this basically means is once you connect to the event via online, you then have to go offline and have to check every single den on the map and make sure that it's a 5 star raid and then attempt to get the shiny, which is almost impossible to distinguish because it's really, really subtle to see or hope that a friend has the raid. But by far the hardest part about it was just trying to find a 5 star amongst all the other raids that were sparkling all over the map. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you all. I missed this event completely in 2023, but no worries because Pokemon decided to run a similar event in 2024 this year, as I'm making the video, called the seasonal event for the 2024 Pokemon Worlds Championships, which if you didn't know, I was invited directly by Pokemon to attend the 2024 World Championships as a Pokemon partner, which is all thanks to everyone who watches these videos and hits the subscribe button. Seriously, I'm even on the official Pokemon website as a featured partner. It's really cool. And they also sent me a bunch of cool stuff that you can check out in one of my shorts. Now, this is just a plug if you want to keep up with me during Pokemon Worlds to follow me on Instagram at PhillyBeatsYou and follow me on Twitter as I'll be posting any updates for anything Pokemon related or special events like this. Now, let's get back
back to where we were. This event is taking place from August 9th, 2024 till August 22nd, 2024, where you'll have the same exact one out of 4,103.05 odds of getting Gimme Ghoul chest form shiny. So if you wanted to really try for a very long time and not get limited by the time, the best way to do this is by updating to the event and then just going offline and hunt it non-stop until you get it. And this might be the last chance you'll ever get to catch the shiny Gimme Ghoul because in 2025 is when Pokemon Legends ZA is coming out. So events might end in this game. Another fun way is teaming up with people and I have an entire discord where people have a Gimme Ghoul chat where they're currently all hunting it together, which I'll link in my pinned comment. Or you can find a legitimate shiny raid host who has this on repeat, but make sure it's legit because you don't want to mess up your Pokemon home or cause any issues with illegal Pokemon. Not good. Now, once you end up doing a raid and getting your shiny Gimme Ghoul, you're going to need to evolve it. So just go around to the various towers and ruins in the game and defeat or catch these other chest form Gimme Ghouls. I suggest you just defeat them so it doesn't get confused with the chest form Gimme Ghoul that you get. And then you'll get yourself the almost impossible shiny Golden Go. This is the raid den I was in that I was able to get it from and it looks really cool. Just look at its sparkle, even though I cannot tell the difference between that and its original non-shiny form. As promised earlier in the video, I'm now going to show you how to get the impossible roaming form Gimme Ghoul in your game, which I still don't know why there's no way of just naturally catching them. And I think that's because Game Freak wanted Pokemon Go to still be a key part of this entire Pokemon ecosystem that they created for the Pokemon Switch games and Pokemon Home. And this is one of the few Pokemon only found exclusively in Pokemon Go. I also wanted to point out that if you don't want to miss videos like this specifically when you hit that subscribe button select that bell and press all because a lot of people were upset in my last video when there was a really rare Alolan Raichu event and people missed it so just do that so you'll know whenever I upload an important Pokemon video so now in order to get your roaming form Gimme Ghoul you're gonna want to go to the main menu on your Nintendo Switch and select Pokemon Portal then select Mystery Gift and then connect to Pokemon Go and you want to pair with the Pokemon account which by the way you can only do this once per day then what you want to do is make sure you get your phone and go on the pokemon go app and make sure you go into your settings and that the nintendo switch is part of the connected devices now at this point you're going to go into your items and go to the postcard book within pokemon go and then you're going to select any postcards you may have it doesn't matter where it's from i'm just selecting this random location and then you're going to tap on the three dot icon and that's going to allow you to send it to your or Nintendo Switch. You'll then get a coin bag within Pokemon Go and when you go and activate that coin bag in your items, it's going to cause a bunch of roaming gimme ghouls to start spawning. If you sit down, they show up every 5 minutes and if you walk around, they start to show up every minute. Now for the sake of your collection, you might only need one, but if you want to be nice and trade it with other people, you can go ahead and catch a bunch. Anyway, once you encounter it in Pokemon Go and you catch one, you're then going to go into your Pokemon menu and select Pokemon Home. If you haven't connected Pokemon Home to your Pokemon Go account, I suggest you do that because I have a lot of banger videos coming out that involves Pokemon Go and why it's important to have it with Pokemon Home. You'll then get a screen that shows it being sent off to Pokemon Home once you select the Gimme Ghoul. You can only send a certain amount of Pokemon because there's a whole energy recharge thing in Pokemon Go. It's a little weird. After you're done, you can then boot up Pokemon Home on your Nintendo Switch and then you can click on the Pokemon Go icon to receive it. Then from Pokemon Home, you can select Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet and what you want to do is grab the Gimme Ghoul from the Pokemon Home and bring it over to Pokemon Scarlet or your Violet box, which is basically the boxes in your PC. You can then save and close out a Pokemon Home, boot up Pokemon Scarlet or Violet and then once you're in the game, you can grab it from the box and put it into your party. And if you check out the info, it says that it's from Pokemon Go go. It literally serves no purpose in the game, but it's very important if you want to have it in your collection, and then you'll be able to have all the forms of Gimme Ghoul and Golden Go together. But you should click on this video to see if you have this rare Pokemon or if you should do this in your Pokemon games. 